What we have here is a intelligent uh, incubator controller. It is quite cheap on the AliExpress and you can find this uh, uh, model uh, which is uh, I think uh, 9005 and there is a, a bit cheaper model like this and I don't recommend it because it is weaker and it just doesn't work really well. You should buy this higher end model because electronics are more capable. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we gonna connect this. You have a backplate, which basically tells you uh, which connection is for what. So these two are heating wire. Uh, the second two are uh, AC motor. This model is for uh, 110 or two 220 volts. Uh, we have input voltage here. In my case, 220 we are using. We have a DC fan. Uh, which is 12 volts and uh, hum humidifier which is also 12 volts we we won't connect that now because i do still didn't uh, got a, a unit itself i'm gonna first explain you how i'm gonna do this uh, i prepared wires like this too and they are uh, 0 0.7 millimeters square and i'm gonna connect them in these uh, terminals and why i'm doing this uh, because on the other end I'm gonna have a uh, uh, Vega connectors which I'm gonna use to make a modular setup in my incubator so if something dies let's say heater vent uh, or uh, uh, turner motor I'm uh, I will be able to hot swap it really easily without opening the controller itself which is a really nice option to have so we're gonna start connecting uh, all this. So five and six is uh, our input. So let's let's connect it. It is two, four, five, and six. You always want to check if if it's tight enough because uh, these these two are most important wires in all setup. You want them on the spot tight enough Here we go like this and I like to connect them with some tape like this so I know when uh, later I follow up it is a lot easier so let's double check two four five and six uh, these are our our mains input wires at this point we have only a fan wire left and basically we are done connecting these i'm gonna show you now i won't connect the back plate right now we're gonna put this inside the incubator and i'm gonna show you how how everything will look this is my incubator there are a lot of 3d printed accessories on it like this uh, to keep the top hold so this is inside, there is a 56 egg turner. We're gonna put everything inside now and I'm gonna show you uh, how everything uh, looks when in this modular way which I want to show you. Okay, this is finished wiring and I'm gonna explain you everything. So, uh, we first have here uh, 220 volts incoming. It is coming here and we have uh, two wagon connectors mount I connected them with mains input, which is this middle wire. So it is going here and it is connected to these two. So basically, if something happens with controller, you can easily disconnect this and just pull it out. It is the same for the mot motor, let's say. We have a motor here, which is connected to two wagon connectors, and we have two wires which are connected to the controller. And it is the same for heating element. Also, same for went. So basically, everything is uh, modularly connected. You can change everything on the fly. So let's say you have heating el element uh, to die. You can just disconnect it here and insert the new one. Easy job. You don't need to remove uh, this bracket and uh, unscrew here the terminals. So you can save your hatchlings from dying 
because you can easily switch everything. I hope you will find this helpful. Consider subscribing and until next time, see ya.